Hello everybody, my name is Luigi and I am an exercise physiologist. Shortly we will be talking about the conduction system of the heart. At rest the heart beats about 70 times a minute and pumps about 5 liters of blood around the body. The heart is under the control of the autonomic nervous system, which regulates the cardiac activity to meet the body physiological demand. Nonetheless, the heart cells have the potential for spontaneous electrical activity and contract rhythmically. Thus, the heart is odorhythmic, which means that even if the nerves supplying the heart are severed, the heart will be still able to contract but the nervous modulation will be eliminated. The cardiac conduction system regulates and coordinates the synchronous contractions to optimize the heart feeling and its ability to pump blood. The depolarization and the repolarization of the cell's membrane causes the heart to contract and relax rhythmically. Let's see in a bit more details the sequence of events. In this graph I have prepared, the vertical axis shows the membrane potential expressed in millivolts while the horizontal axis shows time in seconds. The yellow waves represent the change in membrane potential. The resting membrane potential is about minus 70 millivolts, and the depolarization is a change in membrane potential from negative to positive. And the wave of depolarization spreads throughout the conduction system. The continuous depolarization and repolarization cause the heart to contract rhythmically. These rhythmic contractions are controlled by a group of cells located in the right atrium, called sinoatrial node. The action potential begins in the sinoatrial node and then spreads over the atria via the electrical conduction system, resulting in atrial contraction. This impulse reaches the atrial ventricular node that connects the atria with the ventricles via the bundle of his, which is divided into right and left branches. As the wave of depolarization reaches the ventricles, the conductive pathway branches into smaller fibers, termed Purkinje fiber. And through these fibers, the wave spread throughout the entire ventricles that contract. After the ventricular depolarization, follows the cardiac repolarization and the heart relaxes. All these events are repeated each heartbeat. Let's put everything together and see both the depolarization and the spreading of the wave. As you can see on the left side, there is a depolarization. On the right side, the spreading of the wave throughout the myocardium. This gives the heart the ability to contract and relax rhythmically. In conclusion, the cardiac electrical conduction system regulates and coordinates the synchronous contraction to optimize the heart feeling and its efficiency to pump blood. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to contact me, both my email and website addresses are now appearing on the screen. In my YouTube account, also appearing on the screen, I have uploaded 
other interesting videos about science, both in Italian and in English language. So, you can have a look there too. Thanks and bye for now.